Hello and welcome to the next episode of Adjusting to a New Baby, looking at school age and teens and challenging behaviour perhaps after a new baby arrives and how to handle it. So your school age or your teenage child might act up or act out to get your attention if they feel that they're getting less of your time, less of your energy and of course less of your attention because of the new baby. And they might get more upset over small things or they might become more frustrated over things or they might withdraw or as I've said before they might attention seek in many ways because it's a good idea for you then to make some one-on-one -on -one time with each child each day because that can really help because it gives your child the chance to have their say about what's bothering them, what's interesting them, anything where you stay connected. And here are some more tips for making the most of the one-to-one -one time with an older child and perhaps your teenager. The first thing, as I've said before, is to try and set aside some time each day to talk and listen to your child without interruption. That's the big thing. Try to organise some fun activities alone with your child, if at all possible, like doing arts and crafts or going somewhere together or eating a meal together so that your child might, you know, they can choose the activity, but you've, they've got your one-to-one -one undivided attention. Perhaps you could use meal times as a really great time to talk about what's happened during the day, perhaps. Don't nag about eating the broccoli and holding the knife and fork properly. Children spell love, T-I-M-E. And of course, a new baby is absolutely delightful, but they can take up an awful lot of your time. So by sort of, when the baby is napping or sleeping, it's such a great opportunity to spend a little bit of quality time with each of your children individually, if you can, so that they don't feel left out and resentful about the new family member. Until next time, take care.